We're back in Europe again, this time in Sweden, looking at Swedish clocks. Uh, some of you may be familiar from design magazines and things where you see uh, Swedish tall case, case clocks, often very colorfully painted country clocks with a round head and a shaped base. These are very common, and reproductions of them are being made now as well as the old ones. The old ones tend to be uh, uh, a little bit primitive. Sometimes the wood uh, has uh, shrunken or come apart in ways where they can be kind of rickety, and as well as the condition of the painting could of the painting on the case could be an issue. So you want to be careful when you're looking at those that you're not buying either a reproduction or one that uh, may fall apart in your living room uh, within the next couple of years. Uh, the one I have illustrated here, however, is a wall clock. You can see it has a maker name from Stockholm on it. This is a large gilded clock, again, uh, perhaps Ormolu, perhaps uh, uh, the uh, more type of gilding that was done on picture frames. This is a large wall clock. The significance of this clock, in addition to it being a fine example of a heavily carved, ornate Swedish wall clock, is that this clock belonged to Winslow Homer. Uh, a customer brought it to me to be repaired and just mentioned in passing that this clock hung in Winslow Homer's studio up in Prout's Neck in Maine. I wasn't sure if that was just one of those stories you hear, but um, I did a little bit of research and I found a photograph of Winslow Homer's studio up there in Maine, and sure enough, this clock was hanging on the wall. So uh, in addition to many of us who like Swedish clocks, obviously Winslow Homer did too.